Chapter 2. Fur Hands. I showed my mittens to my teacher. Her name is Mrs. She has another name too, but I just like Mrs. and that's all. Feel them, Mrs., I said. Feel how soft they are. I rubbed them on her face. Ooh, they are soft, Junie B, she said. Be sure to be sure and put them in your jacket pockets so they won't get lost, okay? I skipped very happy to my seat. Yeah, only I'm not even going to lose them, I said to just myself. I'm going to wear them all right on my hands the whole live long day, because I love those guys, that's why. I took off my attractive winter jacket and sat down at my table. Then I tapped on Lucille with my furry mittens. Hello, how are you today? I have fur hands. See them, Lucille? See my hands of fur? I flew them in the air. This is what fur hands look like when they're flying in the air, I said. I waved hello. This is what fur hands look like when they're waving hello, I said. Lucille did a frown. You're being annoying, she said. That's how come I turned around and I smiled at a boy named William. I have fur hands, William. See them? See my fur hands? I tapped on his head. This is what fur hands look like when they're tapping you on your head, I said. Just then, I got up from my chair and I skipped to my boyfriend named Ricardo. I tickled him under the chin with my soft hands of fur. This is what fur hands look like when they're tickling you under the chin, I said. Then I grinned and grinned because that boy brings out the best in me, that's why. Pretty soon, Mrs. saw me out of my seat. She held my hand and marched me back to the table. This is how fur hands look when they're marching to my table, I said. Mrs. plopped me in my chair. Then she took off, pulled off my fur hands and she put them on her desk. I did a sad sigh. <sighs> this is how fur hands look when they're no longer in my possession, I whispered to judge myself. After that, I put my head on my desk and covered up with my arms. And I didn't come out for a real long time.